Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can copy only visible cells in Microsoft Excel. So here as you are seeing my screen, I have created this data and I have created the groups here. If I will click on this plus button, you can see the data from first to seventh is available and this is the sum of first week. Similarly, the week two, and B3 and B4. If you want to copy this data only, you don't want to copy the day on day data, then if you will use simple copy and if you will paste it here, it will paste all data. You can see the date wise data is also available here. But if you want to copy only visible cells, then how can you do that? I have created a shortcut key to doing that using personal macro rather than pressing ctrl c i'll press shift ctrl c then it will copy only visible cells if i will paste it here then it will paste only visible cells you can see here you will learn how we can create this shortcut key in the excel shift ctrl c to copy the visible cells only before doing that, I would like to tell you there are some other way to copy the visual cells only. You can select your range and press Ctrl G to open the go to window and just click on special. Here you can see this option available which is visible cells only. Just click on this and just click on OK. You can see the visible cells has been selected. Now you can press Ctrl C to copy this and you can paste it anywhere. So only visible cells will be copied. The another way is just select your range and press Alt plus semicolon button which is available next to L button in keyboard and then the visible cells will be selected. Press Ctrl C and then you can paste it anywhere. So these are the another method but if you want to create some shortcut key so that rather than pressing ctrl c to copy the range press shift ctrl c it will copy only visible cells and you can paste anywhere i'll tell you how can you create this macro go to the developer tab and then visual basic here in visual basic you can see this personal.xlsb is available so what is personal macro friends i would like to tell you the personal workbook is available in Excel which is hidden. It may not be available here in your Excel. Then what you need to do is go to the developer tab and record macro. Or you can go to the view macros and click on record macro. And here you can see this option available which is store macro in. Just select here personal macro workbook and just click on OK then you can simply stop this now that personal workbook will be available in your vba project so just click on visual basic in developer tab or press alt f 11 to open visual basic editor window and here now your personal dot xlsb will be available and just go to the module i have created few other macros so that is the reason so this is the macro which just have recorded now you can create your own macro so i'll show you to copy the visual cells only what i have written in code simply i have created a macro which is copy visible cells and here you can see i have used selection dot special cells and then in bracket excel cell type visible and then copy this single line will copy the visible cells only in your selection so after writing this code in your personal dot xlsb make sure just click on save personal dot xlsb so that it will be saved and it will be available every time whenever you will open your excel and now I'll tell you how can you create the shortcut key. To creating the shortcut key, go to the view macros and you can click on view macro. So here there may be multiple macros name available. You can select macro in personal.xlsb 
and then the macro which are available in your personal macro will be displayed here now here just select this copy visible cells and just click on options in the shortcut key just put capital C then automatically it will display here control plus shift plus C click on OK now if you will select and press shift control C then only visible cells will be copied you can paste it here like this i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching